Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more APA's video. Cooking APA Hi, this is Cooking APA. APA will be uploading minimum 4 videos every week. Uh, you're going to see my new videos on every Tuesday, Thursday, uh, Saturday and Sunday. Malaysian time, 7 p.m. at night. Okay, and APA has been uploaded... Uh, Actually, APA has uploaded over 600 uh, videos on my YouTube channel so you all can uh, take a look when you are free. Okay, do come and visit my YouTube channel. Now, you are looking at the uh, half, half of free range chicken here. Um, to be very frank, the amount of ingredient that I'm using today is a little bit more than I usually do because um, I'm going to keep some of it for tomorrow. Uh, because I'm going to braise chicken and anything got to do with braise actually next day tastes even better <laughs> okay so I'm going to braise uh, one half chicken here this half chicken is about 1 kg alright and uh, I have some uh, tau kwa okay this is the uh, the hard, hardened tofu easier to use the hardened tofu easier to manage okay and this is, I have four uh, uh, hard boiled egg. Then let's look at the uh, ingredient for the braise. Actually very simple. Uh, I, must, I must admit that I don't really have uh, the, all the ingredients today because I, I don't have galangal. I run out of galangal and I don't have the coriander roots. So that too, if you have it, you can add it in, yeah? So, but don't worry, with all this here, it's still going to taste really good. Okay, so this is about one tablespoon of chopped garlic, one tablespoon of uh, chopped shallot, one tablespoon of chopped ginger, one piece of bay leaf, one piece of cinnamon stick, two pieces of star anise, yeah? And about half a, tea, um, half a teaspoon of five spice powder if you don't have it it's okay so right don't worry because why these three thing is actually five spice powder <laughs> sometimes uh, don't get intimidated by all kinds of different names you know you, you if you know what are those spices made of so sometimes it's really oh you see like oh okay it's actually nothing complicated cooking is very easy now this is extra you will add more uh, make your braised broth a, a, a lot more full body, more flavor. Uh, this is actually about three tablespoon of. Actually, you can you can even you can put even more. This is fried shallot. Yeah, I always got fried shallot at home. So you can look for my videos on how to make fried shallot at home. Actually, uh, these ones I actually bought the uh, ready mix one. <laughs> they already fried. It's very easy to find this sort of ready fried shallot. But I also have some. Uh, a homemade fried shallot as well so sometimes it depends on my mood which one i want to use okay so of course you need some hot water here um to be very frank i'm not sure if my wok can handle all this size i will i will see how it goes later yeah and then to make the broth uh you need three uh three season main seasoning the first is actually the thickened dark soya sauce yeah uh, so this is usually we call it dark soya sauce Sometimes you can find some, uh, uh, what some they call it sai yao, uh, some they call it, uh, what's the other name? Uh, I can't remember. Okay, anyway, um, it's dark soya sauce. And dark soya sauce is different than sweet soya sauce, yeah? They, these two is actually a different thing. Many people ask me, but dark soya sauce is dark soya sauce. And then you have your dark soya sauce, you have your light soya sauce, and then you are going to need some, uh, I have some rose wine, rose rice wine with me. If you don't have, just use Saoxing wine. All right. So for those who doesn't take alcohol, of course, just omit the alcohol part. Okay, let's put some oil in cold water. Then only you raise the heat. Do this when you are using a stainless steel wok, okay? If you're not, then you don't, you uh, actually put in the oil after you heated the wok. So basically different wok uh, has different characteristics. You have to, in order to prolong 
the lifespan of it, yeah? So let's saute our fresh ingredient here, which is uh, garlic, salad, and also ginger. So I'm going to saute this for two, three minutes. We will come back shortly. This is after about two, three minutes. You start seeing uh, the garlic started to turn a bit brownish. You can actually add in uh, the star anise and also the bay leaf and cinnamon stick. Put in the hot water. Right, immediately this broth is already flavored. Always make a flavored broth. That's, that's how you can make your dish more flavorful, right? Many people pay too much attention to the meat itself. Actually, it's the broth because it is the broth which is going to uh, to allow the meat to absorb all the flavor. Don't forget it. So it's not about the meat, it's actually about the broth, about the gravy. Right, now we can actually adjust uh, we can adjust the broth. Now I'm gonna put in the uh, five spice powder. This is fried shallot. Two, three tablespoons of light soya sauce. In Chinese, every time we use the word braise, we are talking about soya sauce, okay? So this is uh, at least three to five tablespoons of uh, duck. This is actually called the, the thick soya sauce. Some call the duck soya sauce, some call the thick soya sauce. Sometimes it really depends on uh, from which region this particular soya sauce comes from. But basically you want this to be really black, yeah? Uh, you want the camera's color. Ah, okay. You want this black, really black. See, it's not difficult to uh, raise, uh, to pro uh, to make a uh, braised broth. Very simple. You can adjust the salt and sugar towards the end, or you can put a little bit right now. Also, can. I'm going to put some sugar right now which is going to intensify the saltiness of the soy sauce about one and a half tablespoon this is a lot of broth okay so don't worry about the sugar it's not to sweeten but to enhance the, the potency of the saltiness inside here I will put a little bit of salt. Not too much because we already put a lot of light the, the soya sauce just now, yeah? Alright, basically the broth is ready. I will still I can still adjust on the salt, yeah? Just adjust to taste towards the end. Now I tried to cut my chicken to be to be a bigger chunk but smaller than just now just now I did not cut it at all it is the whole one the whole uh, half chicken but I think it, my, my wok can't really fit in the whole thing so I cut them into uh, three four bigger pieces and this is my tau kwa And my egg, oops, not my egg, the eggs, the chicken eggs. Okay. 
Okay, always try to tidy up your kitchen as you cook. Don't wait until the last moment. Right, so now everything is under the broth here. If I added the wine, <laughs> I think I forgot to add the wine, the rice wine. I'm going to add some. This is actually the rose rice wine. You can use Saoxing wine also. And don't worry about the alcohol, it will evaporate the moment uh, it is cooked. Alright, bring, bring this to a boil. After which... Oh, I can smell the rose wine. Mm. After which I'm going to tone it down and uh, close the lid first. And uh, tone it down to medium low and let it slowly simmer for about 40 minutes. Because I'm using... Um, I'm using free range chicken, so it can it actually can tahan to cook a bit longer. If you use normal chicken, actually 30 minutes is good enough, or maximum 40 minutes. If you cook up to one hour, your your normal chicken may may be too soft. It may be too soft. But free range chicken, anything within one hour is fine, no problem because uh, the meat is usually tougher. It's more muscular. Right, it's now boiling. Close the lid, tune down to medium low, and let it simmer for a minimum about 30 to 40 minutes. I'll decide later. Still another 30 minutes waiting for my braised chicken. While waiting, I decided to make myself a cup of freshly brewed coffee. Actually, I very seldom I make coffee. <laughs> anyway, um, I have this machine from Pacifica. It's actually called, I think it's called the, the Voltex, yeah, from the Pacifica. And um, you can make soya bean, uh, soya bean milk, uh, all kinds of green bean soup, all kinds of dessert. And one of the best part, my wife loves it the most, is it can make freshly brewed coffee. My wife actually uses this machine every morning. So I have put in some uh, coffee beans here, yeah, from, we actually bought it from Starbucks, yeah. Don't tell people, I tell you we buy from Starbucks. Okay, so just put the beans inside. Close the lid. And uh, let me choose uh, the coffee. There is a... Uh, eh? Another one. Eh? Wait a... Uh, Okay, there is another coffee button here, sorry. <laughs> Alright, so I didn't see this coffee button so I was keep on choosing. This is why I told you I never make coffee for myself. Usually my wife did it. Okay, so uh, about 300 ml of coffee later and then press start. Six minutes. Six minutes, it will actually uh, cook the, the coffee bean and also blend the coffee bean. Then it will actually then you have a fresh cup of coffee and it has a filter. It comes with a coffee filter here. Of course, towards the end, you can uh, decide how much sugar you want to put. And also you will add in the water from behind. Always use some purified water. All right. Ah, it is now blending the coffee bean. Can you see? Huh? Or oh, grinding. My wife says it's not blending but grinding. Grinding the coffee bean right now. So after that, I think after grinding, it is actually using the Japanese Kawasaki blade. So it's very extremely sharp. So the whole thing will be very fine later. And it will add in some water by itself and cook the coffee. The whole process only takes you six minutes. And the best part, after the whole thing is completed, this machine wash by itself. Yes, I'm not kidding. This machine wash by itself. It has its own cleaning process, so you don't have to really bother it. Um, which is super... This is why my wife can always make a cup of freshly brewed coffee in the morning. And she doesn't have to wash it. Yeah? Anything troublesome, Appa will not do. <laughs> Alright. Alright. You can start seeing the coffee started to come out. And there is actually a sieve here. So it will uh, slowly sieve by itself. 
So the moment when you get the coffee underneath, it is already been sieved, yeah, and very smooth. It will be very smooth. Uh huh. Actually, this is the first time I cook coffee myself. I think it's because of the sieving process. It's going to release um, the 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 water two times, if I'm not mistaken. My whole house is very very uh, smells the uh, coffee aroma now. So can you imagine when my wife is making this every morning? Mm, freshly brewed coffee. And my wife just told me it's not cooking coffee, it's brewing coffee. <laughs> now you know Appa is not a coffee person. Mm -hmm. So it's now cooking the second time. Mm. There should be a second time releasing the coffee very soon. Mm -hmm. No, not yet. Anyway, there are some coffee inside the container, inside the blender, inside here now. Aha! Second round. The reason why it cannot it, it cannot disperse the coffee two rounds is because of the sieve. If we disperse everything in one go, it will overflow. So this machine is super clever, super smart, very intelligent. See, it is now slowing sieving here. Ah, six after six minutes, it ended by itself. And then the next thing is about the basically our coffee is done. Just wait for this to sieve through, and. It will wash by itself auto clean. See, now it's the auto clean function. Inside, it starts to it starts to disperse some water inside also. Right after that, it will blend. So after, uh, see, it's now blending. This is the washing process. It's washed by itself. So if they will do this for about five minutes. Then uh, this water here, they will release into another container underneath. You just throw away those water. That's all. And after that, after the five five minutes, it will be a second. Second part, uh, second process of uh, washing, which is through hot air, hot air, yeah, hot air. Then that when you do that, actually you have to, uh, it will ask you to actually open up, open up the uh, this this particular cover here. Not sure if you can see. I can take it out. See, can you see the container here? It is starting to release already. This is the part where we have to just throw away, and actually our coffee is done. Just let it sift through everything. So if you want to know more about this particular product, uh, I will leave the info and detail and where you can buy them or you just want to find out more, all the information in the description box, you can go and check. Uh, it actually has, this particular company actually has two machines here. One is the blender and the juicer and this are, the other one is actually the steamer. Okay, I'm sure you have used, seen me Appa using also. Um, you can buy them in a bundle which is a lot more cheaper so now there are some promotion you can go and check see see how it washes by itself extremely clever this thing is super intelligent all right the coffee has managed to sift through so while waiting I can have my freshly brewed coffee. Okay. Cheers. All right, by the time I finish my black coffee, my breast chicken is also almost done. Uh, I gave the other half to my wife. She usually will add milk. I will add some little bit of sugar. All right. So, Whoa! Looks so good. Look at the beautiful braised chicken color. <laughs> okay. So I will I will actually take out the chicken. Then we will do some uh, 
a little bit of final seasoning and uh, thickening of sauce if you want to, up to you. I've taken out the chicken and tofu and the egg and let me just do some final seasoning here. Mmm, nice. Mmm, savoury, good. I will just get a little bit of uh, sugar. And what you can do here is actually you can take out some of the broth and uh, put it in the smaller pot or something. Give it the... You can actually take it out the sauce, yeah? Slowly let it uh, boil for about 10 minutes or 5 to 10 minutes to thicken up the sauce. I don't do that, so it's really up to you. And a little bit of sugar, that's all. Done. Just need to pour over some of the broth over to the chicken. Right, my very simple braised chicken is ready. If you um, like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Up on Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up on YouTube channel. Uh, Abba just recently received my uh, silver play button from YouTube. Thank you very much. And I've just achieved over 150,000 subscribers. Hopefully I can do more uh, for you all. And um, like I mentioned earlier, this dish, if you can leave it overnight, actually the second day will taste even better. Alright, thank you very much. Bye-bye.